that exam came and went. I'm actually really mad because I thought I studied enough. Like, I really thought I knew the information and I was comfortable with the information and the exam came and then I was not comfortable with the information. At least, like, when I was even doing the exam, I was like, I thought I knew this. Like, I was answering the questions. And then when I saw my score, I was like, I guess I was not answering any of the questions. But, you know, there's nothing else to do because I have, I'm already behind on this week's material because that's how every Monday exam works. And I just need to pick myself back up and continue my life because and I honestly studied so much. And I thought I was studying correctly, but I can see how there were things I should have focus more on because I am pretty comfortable with like diagnosing someone with something based on like the week's material but it's like when it comes to like management and treatment and so variable depending on the person that's where I struggle with and that's the whole point of being a doctor and I guess that's why I'm here learning I don't know having bad exams also motivates me to just study more so I'm motivated to learn even though I'm really tired running on five hours of sleep but ready to learn again <laughs> and those secondary spermatocytes then rapidly divide again into sperm and fish. So because that's a relatively rapid process, it's difficult to find secondary spermatocytes. It is in fact six, seven hours later, and I've just been watching Business Proposal because I, I lost some motivation once I started. So I started watching the show while I eat because I have to watch a show while I eat, but then I just got, I got hooked and my body just not productive anymore. Nope, lost all that productivity I felt. That's okay. What's the real reason why we're here? So I'm now we're in Miami again, cook dinner because I really hate ordering food when I'm just trying to like sustain myself just i don't know it annoys me and i've had a lot of fast food the past couple of days and we had fast food at the airport and so i'm just trying to like eat home cooked meals like cook and also because i need to pack dinner or lunch for tomorrow because this food they have at school is really expensive so i just don't like eating it i mean it's good but i'm just also i've ate out the past like four or five days so yeah I just rewatched my lecture that I missed this morning and doing the home learning and I just a lot of catch up work I need to do, so. The unique thing about the uterine, but there is that gap. This is also relevant because this is an entryway or a gap into the peritoneum. You could theoretically run from the vagina into the uterus, up the uterine tube, and into the peritoneum, right? This is the It's noon, I just finished class, but today is my math day, so on campus I stay. Just catching up on what's happened this Thursday. I woke up for class, went to school for EMCL, that was my math day, so we got my math session, stayed because Marvin had to finish one of his um, bedsides, and now I am snacking on watermelon. And yeah, I'm finishing through fibers, doing that. I did not wash up during class today. I'm going to review some material, but I think our professor is really sweet because she said that she wanted to give us an easy block because we're about to start rotations, we're really all really stressed, and they get a whole dedicated block um, during rotations to teach us um, Obagayan. So she's not going into like everything that we need to know right now because we're going to supposedly learn it later on. Better for worse, better for me right now, just because I am really overwhelmed, stressed, just because of rotation starting soon, um, just not feeling adequate in med school, like just not doing great right now. And so it is really nice, but at the same time, also the stats adds to my stress because I'm assuming I'm gonna have less time to study in rotations and how you're gonna know that you're gonna see everything you need to see in rotations and I don't really understand how it works because how like are we gonna have like class class like a lot of class class like I don't really know how it works so stress for my future self not stress for my current self so just that and it's like 4 50 and there goes my whole day and i'm really tired ready to power through it so i made myself a little espresso shot and today in the mcl we talked about a geriatrics case and just like thinking about what geriatric patients have to go through and their barriers to care stuff like that which i think is really interesting because in med school we really just learn what's like the diseases and stuff from like regular patients like not pediatrics not geriatrics um so just like regular age people i guess 
Um, so that was nice. And then we also presented what we have been doing for our scholarly, pre- scholarly concentration, which is just like a little pathway that we had. To, and like basically everyone presented what they did over the summer and what the research project is. Um, that's what my math looked like today. In case you guys are wondering, cue study montage. <laughs> morning in UFCL and now I'm getting ready for an exam because I have an exam today yeah but it's for math so medicine as a profession which is our non sciencey science our non sciencey medical school class and um, it's not really anything you can study about it. it's more just like you know common sense um, how to consult patients on their weight um, diet, good diets, exercise routines, and healthy exercise routines, like, stuff like that. I think that's for this exam and also like our physical exams. Um, I think there might also be some public health statistics, like sensitivity, specificity. And so I'm not too worried about it, but it also could go really bad. So we'll see. <laughs> So that exam went really funny. Um, honestly, it wasn't bad. It's like, so they reused questions from our previous exams just, you know, for long-term retention. But I never checked my answers for the last like, couple of exams. So I don't know what the right answers are. Like, I recognize the question, but I just went. So I don't know what's the right answer because I'm not the type to go look up the answer after the exam. And we have to go in person to go look at our answers and like a time of day like when we don't normally have to be on campus i just never made it out there completely my fault so and now let's see what do i have to do for the afternoon i have to i'm gonna study i'll do a little bit of anki um unlock the anki cards for male female reproductive system review material from last week that's what i meant with studying um, but today's goal is to just review this week's material so i can be on track for next week's material before we start, I'm already already looking for a snack. You just napped 30 minutes, but I'm so tired. Do I go back napping or do I continue watching the lecture that I missed this morning? Trying to stay away from coffee. My iPad screen protector is getting really, or like the back, and so I replaced the back, you know, yellows. It doesn't actually look that yellow on camera, but it just, it bugs me, and it's really dirty, and I haven't been able to get like the dirt off just because rubber, and so I'm just replacing it, making my iPad look all new and shiny today. You can't really tell, but it still looks yellow on my screen, like, is there a difference? This is like different, I actually, yeah, it's less different than I thought. I. Now for the hard part, it's the screen protector. Who else hates doing this? Because I don't actually know how to get this old one off. Like it's just not connecting, no matter how hard I press, like on the side. Well, that's annoying. Am I gonna have to waste my other one too? Like 20 minutes later, and I gotta set up. Back to studying. in a second and i just got back from smorgasburg um uh, but i sat in the sun for three hours very like i'm so tired from the heat and i'm just like all i did was like drink liquids because one i wasn't that hungry but two i just needed liquid so all i got at smorgasburg was like drinks and also like a thing of fries that i only had like five bites of and i just 
then I bought another drink. Um, it's Saturday. I think I'm gonna go do some work. I it's Mid Autumn Festival. Happy Mid Autumn Festival. Or by the time you're watching, it's already too late. But I was originally gonna go to a friend's place for dinner. She's hosting a small Mid Autumn Festival dinner. I think I'm too tired to go. Honestly, I think I'm just I'm just not feeling like social. I'm just socialized out after yesterday night today. Like, I'll see some work I want to get done in preparation for my really, really, really terrible week. Because we I have EMS training, so emergency services training to get ready for rotations on Wednesday. Thursday is my MAP day. And then I have my professional patient where we learned a rectal exam. I think something else, I forgot. And then Friday is our last SSD exam, like my last exam of preclinical. So it's going to be a busy week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I want to get ahead of the material this weekend so I wouldn't be too stressed later on this week. for my bedside because it's due tomorrow at noon and I don't really know how to write one anymore so I do a lot of research people how to write one. I also don't remember strokes and seizures I do a lot of research about that and now my mind is just like really really fuzzy like you know that moment where you get too into something and you work too much on something and then you can't think of anything else and then you take a step back and realize how tired and like fuzzy your brain is because that's exactly how I feel. But I think I just need to call it quits and turn it in because I have other other tasks that I need to get to. My Sunday to-do list is to use the rest of my red paint so I don't waste it. One, two, turn in this note. Three, turn in the fiver, which I already did. Four, finish up the home learning for the week because I have a really bad week so I won't be able to do home learnings after Tuesday, so I'm trying to do it today and start reviewing Monday and Tuesday because those are the only two days where I have a lot of time to review for my exam Friday and then if I have time, I want to review last week's material probably on female on reproductive cycles and stuff like that so it's my to-do list today, but I am going to a concert and I'm going to go grab dinner before the concert with people and so I'm trying to like power through all these, all these things I need to do before then 